Okay, we're on now. Okay, tell me, uh, Mike, what was uh, you were at the scene of the of the fire, right? So you saw it. Uh, uh, did you see it explode? Yeah. Oh, okay. So you all had been called down there because of a a uh, just a minor fire of some sort, and then it became a, a big fire. Yeah. So you were there when the ball of fire went. That's when it blew the whole backside out of that thing, right? Okay. Now, then, when did the uh, fire marshal get there? The next morning. See, I think I went drove up by there when he was there. Um, what what happened when he got there? Yeah. So that's what they were talking about when they said that there was, um, there were uh, things in the van. There were things in the van that was used to, uh, yes, where they landed up. So they could have exploded, right? Well, they took it, and that's where they got the stuff to make the tap to do the, yeah. the propane. So they were transferring the propane out of the big tank to the little tanks, right? Okay, now, oh, what about the car? You showed them where the car was, right, or the van? Yeah. Yeah, I heard it blowing up the basement too. Okay, now back to the car because that's the issue. Uh, the sheriff is trying to blame Donna for that. Tell me what really happened. The, the fire marshal from the, the BJ Roberts and the other fire marshal was there, who was state trooper was there, said they was going to have to cease the vehicle for investigation. Okay. And they got on the radio and hollered that uh, had they wanted to call for a uh, wrecker to come and get the vehicle. So Dave Walton is the one that called, um, who did he call, Johnny? No, he called, uh, he was all recorded on 911. Oh, okay. He called the radio in the Pocahontas and had him send a record up to get it. But it was Walton that did it. Did you, uh, when did you find out that maybe the, they were blaming Donna for doing it? I just, I just heard about it when they started about this story stuff. Oh, yeah. Well, they're trying to accuse her of of uh, n neglecting to deal with it, but she wasn't the one that was there. She wasn't there at all. She wasn't, her name wasn't even talked about. And she wasn't even mentioned. She wasn't even mentioned. So it would have been hard for her to authorize that, wouldn't it? Yeah, but she didn't. Her name wasn't even talked about. So what you're saying is that um, that uh, Walton is the one that actually authorized the uh, pickup of the car. Oh, B.J. Robert. Okay. Okay. Then, well, what did Walton have to do with it? Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. But as far as you know, they never called Donna, right? As far as I know, Donna was never mentioned. Her name wasn't talked about. Huh. And the authority, then, for, the pick, uh, for this... Uh, uh, this uh, pickup of the car was the was indeed the state fire marshal, yes. and then they tried to blame Donna for authorizing it. Yeah. 
all for investigating. They was sheriff's department, they was state police, and they was two fire marshals, two or three fire marshals. Yeah. So well, that sounds that sounds interesting. I'm glad you told me, Mike. Right. That's that's right. Uh, so, yeah, whoever did it, so fess up to it. You know. Yeah, right, I do too. And so, how does uh, Johnny end up with this thing? Because I guess he was the only one had a big record in the vehicle out there. So it was Johnny who came to get it. I did, I wasn't there when the vehicle was removed. After I showed them, they asked me. What oh, okay. They, I laughed because they were sitting there talking about some other stuff, and I didn't want to involved in it. Right. Oh, yeah. You know, it was a, it was a unit explosion. I mean, I can't, I can still remember seeing the explosion. Well, about what time of night was that? It was about between 7, 19 to 7 30. Yeah. Well, that's interesting, really is. Who was the initial person to report that? Yeah. That was me. Oh, okay. So you you were you were an eyewitness to, to most of this, right? I was an eyewitness to the explosion happening, and I was there to see the, you know, the, I was there the first engine on the scene. Yeah. You know. And, well, why do you think uh, Janice would be so hard to blame Donna for this? I don't know. He would have known. Was Janice there? Okay. But Walton was there the entire time, right? Uh, no, they had a couple of county deputies. Uh, they were, they, they Walton showed up at night. It was uh, Brian Shinnebury, David Brock, um, and then they had the, what do you call that, the new program, the Auxiliary. They oh, the Sheriff's Auxiliary. Were, that might explain the problem. They don't know what they're doing. They sit there the whole night. The Auxiliary sit there the whole night. Uh-huh. Well, um, so you kind of think that it was... Uh, uh, Janice is just trying to set Donna up, make her look bad, right? Somebody is. Yep. Because it wasn't, Donna Price's name was never mentioned. Okay. Well, you would know. It was never mentioned, I mean, you know, I think that the state farm marshal often needs to pay the bill. Yeah. Well, that's $11,000. That's a lot of money. Yeah, because it was a big van. It was something that could be handled by a small record and had to be handled by a uh, you know, medium-sized record. No, okay. Right, I know what you're talking about. It's probably, uh, well, it could have been as much as a ton van, couldn't it? Uh, it was over a ton. Yeah. Big, it was an old bread truck van. Oh, okay. Made into a... Well, they were really hauling freight with that gas, weren't they? Yeah. Of course, you know gas at about, what, $4 a gallon? Yes. I guess they were making some money, wasn't they? Somebody, somebody was doing something because they <laughs> Well, do you figure, Mike, you wouldn't know probably, but did you figure that maybe they, uh, maybe the, uh, what caused that particular, was it a spark or somebody smoking, a cigarette or match or just ignited? What I think happened is they was down there and they wasn't, they was, well, they was still in the propane and mm -hmm. they wasn't turning the tanks at one of the tanks that fell over and didn't feel right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, bad. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh.